The word of the day for today, Friday, December 31st, 2021, is golem. Golem. It's a noun, a figure artificially constructed in the form of a human being and endowed with life. Uh, I like the uh, history, uh, the origin uh, that, it, that dictionary.com describes, as well as the examples it uses. Um, it uses a kind of historical example and then also more of a, a literary um, example. And um, the literary example got me thinking it's from Nathan Abrams talking about 2001 and um, describing, making an argument about a Hal, the computer in that movie or in that story, um, being a golem. Uh, got me thinking about other golems that I, I can see in media, obviously in the fantasy realm of uh, Elder Scrolls and um, things like that. Plenty of golems, Atronachs, and I think there actually are characters um, referred to as golems. Uh, but then uh, more popular culture or popular media in terms of um, uh uh, narratives like like um, movies like uh, Nathan Abrams was talking about. I thought of the Marvel movies, and this one's a little bit off off the beaten path. I would say it's not exact; it doesn't line up exactly. But I started thinking about the Winter Soldier as a type of golem. Um, he was psychologically created, and then uh, so right, the raw material is already a genuine article, a human but artificially transformed into this being which only has life uh, when his um, handlers choose for him to have life. Otherwise, he goes into the uh, a state of suspended animation. And in a way, right, he becomes inanimate, like an inanimate object until he is awakened, engaged, and given a mission. Um, and that combined with the psychological um, creation, I think, uh, makes it interesting to think about him as a golem. Also thought of from the uh, DC universe, there's a character called Bizarro, Bizarro Superman, you may know, maybe more well known as, um, who, has, uh, cre who is created by Lex Luthor from the genes of Lex Luthor and uh, Superman. And this character in, in some of the, the storylines uh, goes through the experience of... Um, self-discovery, self-creation um, that I think is interesting when you um, kind of cast him into this, uh, very easily cast him into this Frankenstein mold, uh, which apparently is connected, uh, as you will find on dictionary.com, to um, the Frankenstein story is directly connected to this concept of a golem. Um, which dictionary.com talks about. Um, so another interesting character uh, to consider as a golem uh, or to see through the lens of golem and interpret. Um, and of course, there's this, not just how it lines up, but how it's different and seeing how, um, what the, me there's a meaning to be discovered in each of these stories that uh, perhaps reveals itself differently when you look through the lens of, uh, concept like the golem. How is the character different? How is it, um, um, yeah, how does it disrupt or um, deny or choose differently um, these different paths? Does it have volition? Does it, you know, all those things. Um, and how does it determine its own purpose? Um, how does it see itself? What does it allow to define itself? Those types of things. Um, and perhaps using this, uh, this word, golem, might be a way into um, some new discoveries, observations, and deeper understandings of uh, characters and stories that uh, that we that we've been consuming.